So a lot has changed. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. It's Nina, if you can believe it. I wasn't planning on posting a video so soon, a new one, until I was done with my road trip vlogs, but here we are. And so Taylor Swift played Betty at the ACM Awards and then all of y'all wanted to learn it and started searching up my video. So my tutorial on Betty ended up doing really well and so I want to give you guys another tutorial before I'm done posting my road trip vlogs and I thought it'd be fun to do a bonus video but a lot has changed let me tell you if you can see my room is different I'm in the process of redoing it completely and I've been vlogging the whole thing so keep an eye out for that video so I'm not gonna show too much because it's not done yet and also I made a rash decision today and this is that. <laughs> Brunette Nina is back in the building. This is actually my natural hair color, if you can believe that. And I finally got my folklore merch. Everything is just coming together. Also, you can click the link in the description box and it will take you to the tab that I wrote for this song with all the chords, lyrics, and everything you need to know. So go ahead and click that link and bring up the chords so that you can play it along with me. Anyways, that's enough of an intro. Let's get into the tutorial. Green was the color of the grass where I used to read at Centennial Park. I used to think I'd meet somebody there. Teal was the color of your shirt when you were 16 at the yogurt shop. I used to work it to make a little money. Okay, the lighting is kind of weird, but we're just gonna roll with it because the sun's going down and I wanted to film this for you guys and get it up by tomorrow. The song we're learning is Invisible String, track 11 on Folklore, and I've been putting off teaching this song because I personally just thought it would be hard. <laughs> I thought it'd be hard to teach because it's very picky with your fingers and everything. I looked all over on all different tabs and all the ones I found I didn't like. I didn't like the chords and I thought that it didn't sound right. But I finally found one that I've changed a little bit. So basically I'll be teaching like finger style. So all you need is your hand and your capo. And the capo is going to be on the seventh fret. Basically there's only, there's six chords in the whole song. It's very easy chord wise. The only thing that makes this song difficult is the finger picking. So let's get to it so the for the intro and the verses it's gonna be the same the whole way through it's gonna be c e minor a minor e minor there you go that's gonna be the chord progression for all of the verses honestly you don't have to finger pick this like i always say you can just strum it but if you want it to sound close to the song then you can do this it's not a hundred percent i'm gonna say this now disclaimer i am not playing it exactly like the recording because i thought this would be easier basically you're gonna be on c and what you're gonna do is you're going to have your thumb on the fifth string your index finger on the fourth string your middle finger on the 
third string and then your ring finger is gonna be on the second string. Basically, it's gonna sound like this. So you're gonna do a little thing called an arpeggio and you're gonna go five, four, three, two, and then you kind of go backwards. So five, four, three, two, and then back to three, four. So five, four, three, two, three, four. And you do that once per chord. For C, it's gonna sound like this. Five, four, three, two, three, four. So then you basically just keep doing that slow until you get it and then you can go faster. Then you're going to go to E minor and then you're going to do the same exact thing. Five, four, three, two, three, four. And then you're going to go to A minor and you're going to keep picking the same string. So five, four, three, two, three, four. And then you're going to go back to E minor. Five, four, three, two, three, four. And that's the intro. I think for the intro, I think it does it twice. And then it goes into the verse. Once you get the picking down, it becomes kind of like muscle memory. But if you don't want to, you can just do this. Basically, each chord gets a half measure, and now I will sing it with the lyrics for the first verse. Green was the color of the grass where I used to read Centennial Park. I used to think it would meet somebody there. And that's all the verses. Moving on to the chorus. It's only two chords. So it's lovely. We're gonna play G and we're gonna play A minor and it goes back and forth. This G is a little bit different. It's gonna be a G sus four, I believe. G sus four, it's basically um, a variation on a G. I'll put the chord charts there. Basically, you're gonna play a full measure of each chord and instead of starting on the fifth string for picking, you're gonna start on the sixth string and you're gonna skip the fifth string. So you're gonna be on G sus four and your thumb is gonna be on the sixth string, index finger on the fourth string, middle finger on the third, and then ring finger on the second. And you're going to do the exact same pattern. So except for it's gonna start on six. So six, four, three, two, three, four. Six, four, three, two, three, four. And you're gonna do that twice instead of once. So it's gonna be six, four, three, two, three, four. So that is gonna sound, it's funny she says, starts with time. So time, curious time, give me no. And then when it hits compasses, you're gonna switch to A minor. And then you're gonna jump back to the fifth string the same way we did it in the verse. So we're gonna be on A minor, five, four, three, two, three, four. you put those together it's gonna sound like this time curious time give me no compasses give me no signs and then you keep going you're gonna do that four times and then the only part that's different is when it says all along there was some invisible string tying you to me and on me we're gonna jump back into the verse chords and all of that. I'm so sorry this lighting is awful. Bear with me. I'll start from all along there was some string so we can see the transition into the verse. Invisible string I can't even sing that part because it goes so low, but you get the idea. And then it just jumps right back in to the second verse. So second verse, second chorus, exact same, just different words. And the only part that changes again is the bridge. 
I am like racing against the sun right now to finish filming this. This is a little bit different. We've got a D minor now in this bridge. So it's gonna be D minor, C, G. Well, I'll just show you. Okay, so it goes. So when you go to the bridge, basically it's gonna lead straight in from the chorus to the bridge. So while you're doing the ooh part, that's gonna, the last E minor is already the bridge singing. So it kinda overlaps a little bit. So that part is gonna be a little bit different picking because you don't go back up. I don't know why, that's just that's the way it is. <laughs> uh, so you're gonna do a full thing of D minor, same exact strumming, but we got D minor. We got starting on the fifth string. So what I do is I play C, and I just kind of do five, four, three, two, pause, and then I go to G sus, and then I go six, four, three, two. Let's do that again. So, bring the pole me. Out of my vocal range, but and then it goes. Something pops all What you're gonna do is you're gonna play the D minor twice. C is gonna be five four three two, and then G five four three two. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the number of the strings. Six is the low E string, and one is the high E string. I think my biggest struggle with this album is that it is so low, the very bottom of my vocal range, and it, it's hard for me to teach it because then I can't sing it to show you. I'm getting frustrated. Okay, this is me trying to put this in simple terms. D minor gets two measures, C and G get one measure, and you're gonna do that for the entire bridge except for the very, very end when it says one single thread of gold tied me to you. When it hits you, you're gonna go back to the verse picking and chord progression. I really hope this is making sense. If it's not, I'm sorry. Let me just try to play the bridge. Maybe that'll help. Okay. String the pull of me Right out of the wrong arms Right into that dive bar Something wraps all of my past mistakes in barbed wire Chains around my demons Want to brave the seasons One single thread of gold Tell me to you Then it goes to the third verse after the bridge. I hope that was adequate. <laughs> and if you want to listen to me play and try to play along, just rewind to the demo that I'm going to record after this where I master the song. <laughs> okay, it's getting dark. So verse three, exactly the same as the first two verses. And the last chorus is exactly like the first choruses. And for the entire outro is gonna be the same picking pattern. C, E minor, A minor, E minor. Let's just play a little bit of the third verse together, shall we? Cold was the steel of the ax to grind for the boys who broke my heart. Now I send their baby's presence. Hell was a journey, but it brought me Then the last chorus, let's play it together. Time, wondrous time, give me the blues and the purple pink skies. And it's cool, baby, with me. Isn't it just so pretty to think all along there was some invisible after she stops singing, it has this little like vocals. Ah, 
and you're just gonna play yourself out as long as you want. And that's the end. Well guys, thank you if you made it this far for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Again, go check out my other ones if you would like to learn more of the Folklore album. Don't forget to like this video because I'll make more guitar tutorials if you guys like them. Also, subscribe. I make new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Sometimes, like today, there'll be a bonus video in there. Thank you guys so much. I hit 6K this week, which is amazing. So thank you to everybody, all of my new subscribers. Thank you, welcome. I hope you like it here. Feel free to stay a while. Lots more videos to come soon. I hope you guys have a great day and don't forget to create your own happiness and I'll see you next time. Bye. Give me no compasses, give me no times. I said all the words. Give me no go. Yeah, there we go. Ooh. <laughs> the sun is gone. How am I gonna take a cute thumbnail picture now? One single thread of gold, sad to you.